So we'll see. So this is where chat comes up. So it's still connecting. So we'll see if this works. Oh, I should have one. Um, barely see the chat. Yeah, exactly. That's why usually I'll have another phone that'll have chat on it. Oh. Then so you'll be signed up for your own. Yeah. That well, you can be. If they call it stream manager. So then you're just like watching it. You can type in from you, from you as the as the streamer. We'll see if this works. Hi, friends. It says we have one viewer, but I'm not sure who's in here. But those flowers really look good in the background. And the kale. And the kale, yeah. <laughs> kale, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Well, I can't see if anybody's chatting, but I could pull it up on here, too. This is the phone I usually use. Oh, there, there it goes. What? I'm gonna go oh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> Hi, friends. Hello, everyone. My mom's gonna turn off the AC so that it's a little quieter out here. Welcome in. Hope you're all well. We're gonna do some Qigong on the deck here. Um, we are gonna just move our bodies, get some energy through, moving through our bodies, bring some clear energy to our minds. Um, I opened this up so that I could read chat and then I instantly didn't open chat anyway. So, hope you're all well. Happy Saturday. Happy long weekend. Um, Labor Day weekend here in the United States. I don't know about the rest of the world. Um... I'm like, it's working, right? Okay, so we're gonna do some Qigong. We're gonna go ahead and do the morning practice. <gasps> Hi, Mrs. Hi Roland, welcome in. Um, we're just gonna do a little Qigong this afternoon on the deck. We're gonna do, like I was just saying, our morning practice like we typically do. Um, this is just a nice one to wake our bodies up. Maybe you're having, maybe you're sleeping in, maybe you're having a restful day. Um, but the evening ones do tend to get us ready for sleep, so I thought we might not want to be, maybe we want to take an afternoon nap. That's actually really nice, a siesta o'clock. Um, but maybe we want to energize ourselves for the day, so. It's good to see you. How's life? What's new? I better get my water. been busy with moving oh my gosh everyone is moving right now um do you love your new space or are you just moving into it right now um how's that going are you staying calm <laughs> are you remembering everything that's probably key um so this will help this will help just relax your body get those joints moving get you nice and strong just finishing up the last ends, getting some vehicles off the old property and dropping off keys. Nice! Nicely done. Tying up the loose ends. I love that. Everything's moved in, just need to unpack. Just butts to unpack. Thanks, Bloodspot. Um, that's fantastic. That sounds great. Benetron! Oh my god, ten months! Wow, our Twitch baby is one month old. What a little cutie it is. Oh, that's adorable. Hi, Benny Boo. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining. Um, are you streaming? No, it's Saturday, isn't it? Wow. I was thinking that you're probably going to be streaming the same time I am. But it's the weekend. So, my two days without Ben, I should start streaming on the weekend so then we can still hang out. We've been working. I broke a toe last, oh my god, last Saturday you broke a toe? Just roughing it out. No kidding, that's literally like, that's not what you want before a move. Butt spot, you're trying so hard. It just doesn't work always, butt spot. Um, man, that's really rough. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Um, hopefully now you can put your foot up a bit. Maybe we should do some seated healing practice for you. 
that's intense. We do a lot of um, self-massage and pressure points for that one. Um, well, my camera broke yesterday, so I'm still trying to fix it. <gasps> oh no! Oh my goodness! What happened yesterday? While you were streaming? After stream? I'm like trying to think of what I was doing yesterday. I had an interview, over the phone interview, and that was fun. Yeah, and then I was in your stream and I told you about it. What happened? You didn't stream it. Was it yesterday or was it Tuesday? Was that Thursday? Was that Thursday? It must have been Thursday. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, well, I have a really, I have a, a webcam I could send you since I hardly ever stream from my computer. Um, it might take longer to get to you than if you had just ordered one, so. <laughs> oh man, I wish I was as fast as Amazon. Dang, it must have been Thursday then. Yesterday I did yoga in the park. Yesterday I was trying to go to my parents all day, trying to come here all day. And instead I ended up, um, what did I do yesterday? Sending some emails and then making some food. <laughs> You'll get it sorted. Oh, I hope it works. I hope it works soon. I miss, I already miss your face. It's like, oh no. How long do I have to go without you? Crushed. Oh my gosh. Well, Miss Tyrone, I'll send you some energy healing. What am I doing? I haven't done that in forever. Let me send you some energy healing to your toe. To your toe. Probably to your shoulders and your back. Uh, everywhere that's sore after moving. Anyone who needs some healing energy, no matter where it is, we'll send it to your, uh, to your camera, Benetron, to your computer, Air Brandy. I send healing energy wherever it needs to go, so... We'll just say, whatever needs to be fixed, may it be fixed. Whatever needs to be healed, may it be healed. Allowing in that goodness, that wellness, that health and well-being to envelop your soul. Fades from Carly's memories. Never. <laughs> Never. Um, well, I was actually, like I said, I was literally thinking about you on the drive over. I was like, crap, I'm going to start streaming right when Ben does. But that's just because I never know what day of the week it is. I need to get on a schedule. This is what I need to do. Get myself on a regular schedule. Alright, so. Speaking of a schedule. Are you guys ready? You guys want to do some qigong with me? Um, do you want to do standing practice or sitting practice? We can always, um... I was going to do the morning practice, but we can always change depending on how people are feeling. And, uh, I got my yoga mat right out here. And yeah, we can do whichever. Whichever works. And my phone might be delayed, so... Sorry if I'm... if my chat... if I'm delayed in responding to chat as well. But if you guys are just gonna watch me, that's fine too. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Um, this girl who designs them, um, wanted, like, workout equipment to be aesthetically pleasing. Like, that was her... One of her main things was like, why aren't, why isn't workout equipment, like, why aren't gym bags good looking and functional and effective and like, why aren't, you know, why aren't these things designed for women? And so now she designs like female fitness clothes and workout equipment, yoga mats. Um, and yeah, I love the like, it's called um, Pop Flex, P-O-P-F-L-E-X. So um, yeah, she's awesome. Super, super inspiring. Um, and yeah, it makes me happy every time I look at it, honestly. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you for pointing it out. Uh, I finally, finally cleaned my yoga mat. You should clean your yoga mats regularly. <laughs> and, uh, I felt like this one because it's like, um, it's like vegan leather. It's really soft, kind of like suede. <gasps> Hi, Dr. Oko. It's good to see you. Um, and so, Ghost of Hippie Sean, too. What's well, good, friends? Um, but yeah, I felt like I couldn't clean this one. I was like, oh, it's too soft. Like, it won't be able to, like, wipe it down the same. 
and I really just sprayed it down with my natural cleaner, my homemade cleaner, and cleaned it off and it's looking good, feeling feeling fresh. Boone Phoenix in the house, what's good? Hi friends. Oh my god, I'm glad you're all here. Hi Boone. Um <laughs> Uh, Ghost of Hippie Sean, how have you been? Lots of great streamers in the house. Shout out to Dr. Oko, shout out to Ghost of Hippie Sean and Benetron. Um, that rhymed and it was awesome. Thanks for being here guys, I'm glad you're all here. So we're gonna do Qigong, if you're ready. If you're in comfortable clothes, or whatever you're wearing. Hey, <laughs> Glad to see you. Actually headed to the gym, nice. I worked out yesterday, and then I did yoga, which felt like a workout as well, and my legs were jello after that. Um, and I'm going to work out today, too, after this. Yeah. So we're going to do some comfortable stretching movements. Um, we're going to do our AM practice, and we're going to do it before I got to go to the movies. Today is National Movie Theater Day or something like that, so... Movies that are hometown movie theater are $3 a piece. So my parents were like, oh, we'll buy you a ticket. So uh, we get to go to the movies, which I haven't been to a movie in like... Last movie I saw was the Mr. Rogers movie. Um, a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Bye. Have a great day. Enjoy your workout. Enjoy your workout. You're encouraging me and inspiring me to work out. So keep it up. Thank you. Keep it up for my sake. <laughs> Wow, Ben, you did not have to do that. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Boone. Aw, that's so sweet. Look at now you have the little the little Earth next to your name. Is that Earth? I don't remember which planets I did for which months. I should probably have like a more I should set that up better. <laughs> that was National Bacon Day. Oh my god. I hope so. I love bacon. <laughs> Every day is National Bacon Day. Look at now you got the emotes. A little cute rainbow love. Alright, like I said, we gotta get going because we're going to the movies. Let me know how the sound is and if you guys would rather do- <laughs> I'm cooking bacon right now, nice. If you guys would rather do um, the sitting practice, let me know, but otherwise we're gonna be standing. Um, and feel free to join us for a couple of these. One of these is just deep Begin breathing. Both hands over your lower so, abdomen. try it out. Hopefully you guys can hear okay. Allow the abdomen to expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, move the abdomen towards the spine. Deep abdominal breathing is a great way to begin any Qigong practice and a fabulous way to start your day. Again, inhale, allow the abdomen to expand, full deep breath. And exhale, allow the abdomen to move towards the spine and cleanse and clear. Now step out with the feet shoulder width. Take both palms together by your chest in prayer position, and then inhale and expand and open the chest, pulling the arms to your sides. Exhale, bring the hands back to prayer position. Inhale, pull the shoulder blades together. Exhale, sink the chest. The lungs are said to be the commanders of chi, and by breathing deeply, influence the body's internal energy. So again, chest, pull the shoulder blades together, bringing more energy to the front of the lungs. Exhale, sink the chest, bringing energy to the back of the lungs. This helps to balance yin and yang energy through the body and brings in more energy and vitality, not only to the lungs, but to the rest of the body as well. From here, exercise called spinal cord breathing. Inhale and open your chest and exhale and round your back. Synchronize the breath with the movement as a way to bring more liveness and more mobility so into your spine. Your legs can be nice and wide. Inhale, and open the chest, round the back. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under and bring energy to the low back. Spinal cord breathing brings awake and alive energy into your nervous system. It's a 
way up to your neck and shoulders. Inhale and twist. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and stretch through the hips. Deep breathing and spinal movement warms up your body, prepares you for a good day of vitality, mental focus, and alive energy. And relax the hands down to your sides. Start a movement here called knocking on the door of life. Just turn and twist from your hips and your waist. Gently at first. Relax your neck and shoulders and move from your center. Relaxation is a key principle to Qigong. Now gathering a little momentum, allow your arms to knock across your lower back <laughs> you and across your lower abdomen. <laughs> this will stimulate key pressure points for vitality as well as life in this day, Why not? Now start to shift <laughs> the weight. Take workout. Let's left go. And right. Yes. Um, National legs. Carly Day is March 3rd, um, also known as my birthday, 3-3. On the door of life um, gives your body you can a celebrate any day of the year. To start Stop shorts, day what's good? Life force energy so we are force. just doing knocking on the door of life. So now allow the front hand feel free to, to join us. Across the chest this the is a great one for our shoulders, the um, so the for our immune system as we bring our arm up. So we're stimulating these lungs. March, now bring the March 3rd, 3-3. Thank you. My dad just stained it. My mom and I just stained See the, uh, this the little doors. Stretches your spine, but it stimulates these pressure points. So thank it's you. It's a way to do self-acupressure for deeper healing and more vitality. Slowly let yourself unwind. Come back to a place of being centered. Take a nice deep breath. And then place both hands over the noted. knees. Lean three, forward. Three, noted. Keep Thank your you. arms When's your birthday? When is everyone? Birthday over check. your right shoulder. Take a couple of deep breaths into your rib cage. Hands are on our knees. Feel that space shoulder. between the rib Breathing. cage and the spine opening. Breathing. Spinal twist is a great way in the morning to bring that flexibility and fluidity into your spine. Use your breath and the stretch together. Coming to the center and then turning over left shoulder. Press away with that right arm as a way to deepen the stretch. Breathe deeply into the rib cage. As you exhale, you can twist just a little further into that stretch. Inhale into the ribs. Exhale, twist just a little further. Feel that vitality and energy being soaked up through all the discs and joints in the spine. And slowly come back to the center. to the back of the legs and begin massaging your hamstrings. These are lines of tension that influence the low back. Next, make little circles behind your knees and then from the knees down to the lower part of the legs through the calves. And then take a deep breath and just hang forward. We'll go into a movement called full body flow. We're going to roll up and take the hands up over the head and exhale and come forward legs straight. Bend the knees and roll up and inhale and stretch. Exhale forward and stretch down. Full body flow is a way to open all the major muscles in the body. It's a great way to start the day with more flexibility and openness in the body. You'll feel good and loose and relaxed as you start your day. Again, inhale as the arms come up and exhale as you stretch forward. See how that opens the spine, the hips, the back of the legs. Turn to your right now and reach up. Come down. Take a deep breath into that right hamstring. Feel that line of tension open. Let it come across to the left leg. Take a deep breath here. Stretch heads towards the knee. Legs are straight or as straight as you can comfortably. One more deep breath. And reach up and back, turning the hips to the left. 
arm swings. I'm gonna bring the arms behind us in a really relaxed way, just dropping from the shoulders. There's a little pumping action from the legs, where the knees bend and straighten. The inhale is up, the exhale is back. We take energy into the lungs, and then send it to the low back as the arms go behind you. This is a medical Qigong exercise for low back tension. It wakes up your kidneys and adrenal glands and circulates energy through the body. Synchronize the movement of the arms with the legs. So as the arms go back behind you, the legs straighten, pump and circulate. Inhale the arms up and exhale back. In Qigong, these movements are called invigorating exercises. Invigorating the Qi means it increases circulation, blood flow, and life force energy. Good and slow it down. And next we'll do a breathing exercise called reverse breathing. February Bring your hands 13th. over your kidneys. Oh, and we're going to reverse the breath. It. So instead of expanding into the lower abdomen, so we're expanding into the kidneys. lower back and massaging the kidneys and adrenal glands, bringing that good chi flow into the kidneys and the kidney meridian. So as you inhale, the kidneys expand. As you exhale, the whole area relaxes. Take one more deep breath. So bring your hands to your lower back and start knocking lightly over the kidneys, the low back, and the tailbone. Tapping with your knuckles to stimulate those pressure points. And then turn so the palms are slapping on the low back. Go down the outside of your legs. This follows the yang meridian lines. And then come up the inside of the legs. that again from the kidneys down the outside of the legs and come up the inside of the legs good now bring the hands up to the chest and knock over the sternum the lungs and the heart now bring your right hand out to your side really and your left gentling. hand tapping Super and slapping loose, down the inside fist. of the arm you can feel the energy flow here so i do recommend and then it comes up this. the outside of the arm to the Let neck and shoulders you feel this. so those pathways of energy flow from the chest, from the chest down the inside down of the, the arm, inside of our arm and then come up the outside of the arm and, and roll the outside, over the shoulder over that shoulder good tapping the center of the chest and, and going to the other that. side so the you left should. arm extends out the right arm tapping the chest you can do this a few times you can do this as much as you need if you're on the keyboard a lot if you're on a computer a lot you work out a lot this is one we should all do. If you're around a lot of people, in the body. it's really great for your immune system. Back to the center of the chest. I can tell you in Brush two and a half down. years I did not get COVID. The next exercise is a balance exercise. So stand on your left leg and circle the right foot. So balance. This exercise you works on, on strengthening the leg that you're standing uh, on. So feel, you know, feel the lower muscles of the left leg working. And this nice oh, openness and flexibility starting to move into the right heel and ankle. Right leg back, and now lift the left leg. Circle that left ankle and heel. Feel the openness through the lower leg. If you can't go ahead and circle the ankle in both directions, feeling that openness moving through those meridians and energy points in the heel, the foot, and the lower leg. Come back to the center. We'll do an exercise called the crane soaring. So stand on your left leg and begin to wave the arms Sometimes up and down as if you're floating in the hips, air. Whatever you need to do for your body. When you're ready, go ahead and lift that right leg. As the arms come down, bend into the knee. As the arms come up, stand a little taller. Feel this lightness and energy moving through the body. And then let's try it on the other side. So standing on the right leg, Left toes, inhale as you come up, exhale as the arms go down, and then balancing on one leg. Just draw in some lightness, feel a sense of levity and relaxation in the body, and then we'll switch, right leg up in the air. Inhaling, standing tall, exhaling, sinking down, drawing the energy up and down through the body. Left leg up, exhale and come down. Again, flip. 
floating through the air, the arms are relaxed, that right leg is firm and grounded. Now we synchronize the movement of the leg with the movement of the arms. Bring that left leg down. And then standing with the arms in front of you, palms face up. Let's inhale and draw the hands up over the head and exhale and circle around. Again, nice deep breath as the hands come up over the head. Long exhale as the hands circle around. This one's called the Buddha, holds up the earth and establishes a deep breathing rhythm through the body that not only energizes the body and brings in more vitality, but it also helps to calm your mind and let go of old energy. We'll go a little bit deeper now into the stork spreads the feathers by bringing one hand up over the head and the other down. So here, bring your left hand up over your head and your right hand down and stretch and open your rib cage and switch. Good, deep breath. The breathing on this one is inhale into the stretch and feel the ribs opening. And exhale, spiral the arms and inhale as you stretch and press the palms away from each other. This opens the sides of the body. This is the liver meridian line. And it helps to clear any frustration or anger that gets stored in the body. Go back to that original movement. Buddha holds up the earth. Inhale, draw the hands up over the head. Exhale down to the sides. Neo, and then come thank back you. to the center. I'm glad Take you're the here. Back of the hands towards Thanks each for other. Doing our shout and roll Appreciate up the midline you. of the body and then circle the arms outward and down. Inhale as you come up and exhale down. This movement is called the fountain and is designed to train the body to move with flow rather than force. So feel your muscles relax, feel the spine open and bring good circulation and energy up the back and out through the arms. As you inhale, the hands come up. As you exhale and come down, the hips actually go back and then press forward as the hands come up. So hips are going back as the arms come down and waving and rolling up the spine and out through the arms as you come up. Then let's do it one arm at a time. So the left arm circles out and around and the right arm circles out and around. So from the midline, the hand comes up and we inhale, exhale down. I'll turn back towards you guys. Midline, the arm comes up on the deep breath and then exhale down. There's a little shifting of the weight, almost this figure eight kind of through your hips and your waist, and a floating and a chi feeling as you move the arms out to the sides, moving the body with flow like water rather than force and with tension. Good, and again, inhale, bring that arm up, and we'll come back to the center. The next movement is called Tai Chi opening. Float both arms up, shoulder height. That's my vehicle. And float them down. <laughs> Inhale as the arms come up. And exhale and come down. There's this wave-like quality through the back that originates from the hips. So as you get into this flow, we can start to relax through the hips and the spine a little bit more. And feel that wave-like quality moving through the entire system. Exhale, bring the arms down floating the arms up without tension. Start to increase that movement and range of motion from your hips. So the hips move forward, and then the hips move back, so that the movement, we say, comes from your center, from the hips and the waist. As the arms go up, the hips go back, and then as arms come down, the hips move forward. Synchronize the breath with the movement. Inhale and exhale. Hips go back, arms float up. Hips come forward, arms float down. Feel this wave-like quality rippling through the spine, sending energy waves out through the arms. Slow the movement down, relax the hips and the waist. And come back to the center. Now we'll draw both hands upward through the midline of the body and then out and around. The back of the hands come towards each other and together and then circle out to the sides. This draws energy up 
I love the birds the out here. I'm gonna tilt this slightly up. The internal organs to the top of the head, so and then lightly. out and around to the sides. Gather energy as the arms come up, and just right, let go of any tension or stress, work. stress, any energy you no longer need. Let it go on that long exhale as the hands come down. This movement is called fireworks, and is said to bring clear chi up to the brain. Begin to move a little bit from your hips and your waist, a turning or a spiraling from your hips and your waist as the arms come up. Arms go out and down to the sides, and as they're coming up, just spiral from your hips and your waist, coax that clear chi up to your brain, and then out to the sides. Inhale, spiral, feel the spine open, draw the arms up, exhale down and around, and again, dip into that energy, spiraling, Feel the movement through the spine, out through the arms. This helps to enliven and invigorate your internal energy. Exhale, relax and come down. Inhale, and spiral, flow as you come up. And I'm really just turning my hands to the center. Twisting back the ball of energy. And begin to do a circular movement. The name of this movement is turning the wheel. So we'll start with a small circular movement right around your abdomen and just draw some energy up through the spine, through the abdominal area, and down. Like a water wheel moving inside of you, circulating that internal chi and life force through the internal organs. And drawing circulation and energy through key pressure points along the back channel and the front channel. This channel circulates chi through the yin and the yang energies of the body. This will open your microcosmic orbit, a pathway that goes through the spine and down the front of the body. Bring the arms up just a little bit higher now, so chest level. Draw energy up the spine as the hands go up and push it forward towards the heart and back down to the lower abdomen. Like a water wheel turning from the spine up to the chest back down from the chest to the lower abdomen around the pelvic floor feel this internal energy recycling inside you by recycling your internal energy you're going to increase the level of vitality and life force that you have within and now bring the hands up a little bit higher so that it comes around through the throat area again inhaling up and exhaling forward that chi rising up through the spine flowing through the throat and back down that front channel. Opening the throat channel helps to connect the mind and the body. Next, take the hands all the way up over and around the head, circulating the chi in that full microcosmic orbit. That pathway goes up the spine, through the head, down the front of the body, so the full water wheel turning inside of you. The back of the body is called the sea of yang energy. It's for activity, for clear thinking and mental focus. The front of the body is called the sea of yin energy, and it's for emotional balance and centering. Bring the hands to the center of the body. Take them up over the head, drop down to the heart center where the first finger and the thumb touch. From the heart center, push forward all the way down and then circle up toward the heart center with the fingers open. Let's do that again. Inhale as the hands come up, first finger and thumb touch. Exhale from the heart center, forward and down. Draw that energy up with the fingertips open. This is called the lotus exercise. And it's a Buddhist Qigong flow that's designed to create loving kindness through the heart center. So as you're drawing the arms up, this is the lotus flower position. Then as you drop the hands down and circle, you're opening to receive the energy of the universe. Sending it forward from the heart center. And then drawing it again up into the heart center from the earth. The breathing is inhale the hands up over the head. Odin! Oh my Exhale gosh. Big shout out to Odin. Hi, it's center. good to see you. What's up, homie? Inhale as you draw the hands Glad up you're to here. the chest. Exhale, drop down, opening to receive the gifts from the 
I'm universe, like, who's here? pulling what it into our heart that? centers and sending Big it out to energy. the world, then drawing it up from the earth back into the heart center, and just letting it flow. So that's why this I'm one's a nice that. exercise to send energy out from energy. your heart space into anybody or any place that you might think needs a little extra compassionate energy. From here, just hold the hands by the heart center. Take a couple of nice, long, deep breaths. Feel the heart opening. Then move the hands forward and down. And hold the lotus position with the hands and fingers face up at the chest. Again, some nice, deep breaths. Fill up your heart and your I'm so chest happy to see you. More Hope you're well. Energy. Thanks for being here. Everyone, go Breathe check out Odin. It. If you're not already following Odin by Tarot. Clear. You're missing out. Balanced. Good times the over there. Over the head. My favorite down. human. <laughs> yeah, Breathe we got Sean in the building. <laughs> Exhale as you bring the hands down. This is called pulling down the heavens. Oh, oh. feel yourself up with breathing more in, life force breathing energy. out. Breathing in as we ra as raise our hands up. up real relaxed and open. Scooping in that good energy and breathing out. Be open and receptive. For all the earth. energy to flow through you. Whatever quality of energy you might need today, just allow it to flow through you. Inhale. Arms up. Be open to receive. Exhale. Feel just a nice wave of relaxation moving from the top of the head and downward. Bring both hands to the top of the head and the fingertips together. And then pulse the hands so as you inhale the hands open as you exhale the hands squeeze together inhale and exhale standing a little taller on that inhale bending the knees pulsing through the hands as you exhale good and now draw the hands down to the heart center let's do some pulsing at the heart center Open the fingers and the hands, and then exhale and feel the palms come together. Inhale and open. Exhale, bend the knees, palms together. Creating this pulsing and wave-like energy through the heart. Chi moves in either vibration or pulsation, so here we're activating the pulsing energy within your body. These are our chi squats. I did a few of the moves you did in one of your stories on Insta. It was so relaxing. Abdomen. Same thing. Yay! Oh, that makes me so happy. Tier. Heck the yeah. Reservoir of power That's and what it's about, just to help us relax. Help us learn to relax. The body. Inhale and let the hands expand. Exhale, squeeze the palms together. They say that the lower Dantian is the inner elixir of chi. So when it pulses and radiates, it brings healing energy to all various places of the body. Spread the hands apart and just feel the chi between your palms. Energy and life force extends in and around the body. So here we're going to bring the hands a little closer together and a little further apart. And this activates the yin and yang energy within the hands and within the body. From here, take the hands up to the chest into a posture called embracing the tree. It's a standing and meditative posture. So like like a down. tree, feel a sense of being connected down through the floor Chill. into the earth. Y'all is just hanging out. A sense me. of energy rising up through the spine, like the trunk of the tree. So our strong, legs are but our legs are wide for this one, and, bent. and the arms so are like really the branches of the tree. They're soft and fluid and flowing, but still connected to the branch, connected down to the earth through the roots. You kind of sigh Take some out, nice, relax long, those deep shoulders. breaths here. as if your whole entire body is breathing. A tree, all the leaves of the body take in light and breathe. So here, feel as if your whole entire body is breathing. You can bring your arms down into a lower, embracing the tree posture down by the lower abdomen. Same thing here, deep breathing. yourself just gently rock and sway like a tree in the wind. The wind here is the internal chi that's circulating inside of you, so as you relax, that chi circulates and flows, and you can relax into this gentle rock and sway. Now bring your hands down to your sides. 
our centering movement now. We'll bring one hand underneath the lower abdomen. Okay, this one's my the favorite, other one. favorite one. So do this one with channel. Just do this one. Down through the throat and heart. So one hand under our abdomen, the other breathing Take in. Take breath, gathering your energy. I'm Feel it connecting out. your mind, your heart, centering and your body yourself. together. Just dropping your hand down. Qigong creates an integration of chi with the mind and the body. Anything that Feel that mind is thinking about. This movement brings energy to the center of the body. When we're centered, we are balanced. Our emotions are calm and connected. Our mind is rooted in the lower abdomen, and our body is full of life force. This creates the harmony and balance. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a nine tails, everyone. It's a nine tails. Okay, this is our last move. We'll just finish it up after this. Oh my god, get me out of here. Get me back to Twitch. <laughs> guys catch the nine tails please oh my god someone catch that in case i can't Oh my god, it's a nine tails, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I know we're all chill and Qigong is amazing. Um, I also love Pokemon. Um, did I do that right with Premier Ball two words or is it all one word? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Priestess. Shout out, Priestess of Wonderland. <gasps> nine tails. You caught it, Boone. Good job, Boone. I did not, because I did not know how to type premiere ball is all one word. Oh, now I learned. Priestess! Dude, Priestess, your stream last night was awesome. I totally fell asleep to it. Um, and woke up like, what's going on? <laughs> it was so great. It was so silly and so awesome. Just what I needed. Okay, good. Well, we're on our last move, Priestess, but I'm gonna do- I'll, uh... I won't be able to make a highlight of this one until I get home tonight, um, because I'm away from my PC, but, um, this one will be available. Oh, we've only been streaming for 44 minutes, but it is 3.13. We might do a short seated practice after this, depending on if I have time. Well, actually, that was our last move. So our last move, we're just going to do our centering move, um, and we'll do a couple of the, like, good... Uh, a couple of my easy to remember moves. Um, so we're doing um, our centering move, which is totally watch Care Bears in Wonderland by myself. Yeah, I fell asleep when you played us the trailer. I was like, that looks so silly. <laughs> um, so our centering move is one hand under the abdomen um, and one hand. Uh, breathing in, we're, we're kind of gathering that chi or that energy from around us. And breathing out, we are cutting through all those thoughts and just bringing our energy right down to our center and then switching hands. And you can do this any time of the day, whenever you need to, wherever you need to. This is a great one to just bring yourself back. Um, yeah, I love that move. So another great one for full body flow, if you are feeling stiff, um, is, uh, feet wide enough apart, knees bent, hands together, and we're breathing in, we're, uh, rolling our bodies up, breathing in, all turn sideways. Stretching backwards and then breathing forward, breathing out, bending forward. Then rolling up. Stretching back and breathing out, bending forward, legs as straight as they can be, or kind of, actually the legs could be a little bent for that one, but that's a great one for full body flow, they, we call that, um, and just kind of stretching, relaxing, bending, bringing that flow back to our bodies, um, and knocking on the door of life is another favorite, where you drop your shoulders down, feet are wide enough apart, um, and you're 
spinning back and forth or kind of twisting at your hips. Just allowing your arms to relax and knock across these pressure points in our lower abdomen and our lower back. Um, and these are going to be really great for waking up our bodies, for some self-massage, for some uh, great acupressure points. So good for calming our bodies down, um, helping relieve some kind of emotional stuckness. Because um, our hips actually store a lot of our um, painful emotions or um, even like family traumas, genetic traumas, um, I think a lot of that pain gets stored in our hip area. So by doing this every morning, we can kind of release any, if you have negative dreams or stressful dreams, or you're doing a lot of work in the astral realm, um, just trying to kind of gently, gently knock that out of us in the morning and, and, you know, release those shoulders a bit and bring ourselves to a calmer state. So, yep. All right. Well, where did I just put this other phone? So, I'm going to leave you all with that for now. Um, I don't have time to do the other practice because I'm going to get dressed and get ready to go. Uh, but yeah, those are amazing, uh, amazing moves. Um, i trying to think of any others that we just did. Uh, for, for some reason, my brain blanks a lot after this, but... Um, um, let's see, let's see. Oh, this one, um, gently knocking over our chest. So this is a lot of good immune system pressure points. Um, and then you stretch your arms out, gently tapping down and up the outside, and then over your shoulder. Oh, I'm so glad you did too. So down the inside, up the outside. My mom just popped her head up to say it's about time. Um, and one more that I just thought of, which is really great. Um, this one is called the stork spreads its feathers. So breathing in, you're stretching up and really, really stretching out the sides of your body. So breathing in as you're stretching and your, your other hand is its opposite direction. I know it's kind of hard to see my hand. And then breathing out, circling your hands and doing the other side. So these, the liver meridian are sides like this. Um, these, this holds a lot of frustration and tension and anger, so stretching up, breathing in as we do that really can release a lot of that like stuck negative, stuck tension, stuck frustration, stuck anger that we hold on to. So um, great if you hold grudges, uh, like I tend to <laughs> for certain people, I uh, just want to release that. So. Um, but yeah, feel free to watch the practice again. Like I said, the whole stream was only about 44 minutes, so you should be able to jump past me talking. Oh, ballet. Yeah. And a lot of these are just like good, good body movement. Um, and I think a lot of different practices will incorporate Qigong into their stretches or they're very similar to a lot of things we do naturally. <laughs> um, I don't know what I said, Uncle Jimmy. Um, uh, but we are going to raid out because I can actually raid out so let's see who's on right now who is on who do we want to raid let's see oh my gosh my bestie's just about to start um Oh, thank you guys for being here. Love you guys. Hugs of the grudges. <laughs> oh, thanks, Uncle Jimmy. I forgot. Not you, silly. Um, Alright, you guys. Thugs is on. We're going to go right over to Thug Shells. Let's do it. Oh, thank you so much for doing that. Thank you, Neo. All right, now we're on it. Don't forget to copy your raid messages. Um, hopefully this raid works. Hopefully I typed that right. Sure, Butsy. That's me. Um, that's me. Target shells. We got this. 
All right. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. She's jamming. We're going to go get some drum and bass on. <laughs> yep, it worked. Thank you. I can't tell anything on my phone anymore. Um, but I love you guys. Thanks for your time and energy. Um, take care of yourselves. If you did not um, do the practice, then I highly encourage you to come back and watch the replay and do this whenever you need to. Do this to help yourself calm down. Do a couple moves here and there. Find some that work for you and incorporate them throughout your day. Um, that's what I've been doing for the last couple years and it's definitely helped a lot. Bye! Bye Odin, love you guys so much. Millions of kisses, all that good stuff. Thanks for being here. Like, your support means everything to me. So, I'm gonna get back to a schedule, I think. I just gotta figure out what. Hopefully weekends, maybe weekend afternoons like this is great, so. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Drink some water, because I almost forgot to. And we'll get up in here for this raid. Give her lots of love. She's absolutely amazing streamer. Amazing freestyle artist. Um, great, great person. Great human all around. Bye. Love you guys.